Beloved in Christ, this is another day that God Almighty has given us a day like this. It is only this day that belongs to us. So beloved, we have to come before him and thank him. He is a miracle working God. So without wasting time, let us pray. Our shepherd, our Lord, our king, you are the owner of life. So you have given us this day around the whole world. Only you can do this for us. So Father, we have to come and thank you. So we give you all that you deserve. That is to thank you and to glorify the name that is above every name. And also, at the mention of the name, all knee bow, including Satan. We magnify, we adore, we glorify. Let your will shall be done this day for your children. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving, amen. Beloved in Christ, I take this opportunity to bless the viewers of Prophet Kenewu. I greet you in Jesus Christ, his name, for availing yourself to listen to end time prophets. You are welcome to listen to him because God has ordained him to give a message to those who want to listen to the word of God. So beloved, you are all welcome. May God bless you too, amen. Beloved, today is another day. He has given us a word. And the title of the message is, let us praise our maker. Let us praise our maker. It is only God that we have to praise him. So beloved, we will read a scripture. That is Psalm 1-9. We have to praise our God. And without wasting time, let us hear the gospel. Psalm 9 verse 1. And I read. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my whole heart. I will tell you a marvelous way. Beloved, we have to praise him. He has done it for you and I. It is only him that we have to praise. Beloved, Shadrach, Mesad, Abednego, they praised God while they were in the fire. That is Daniel. They praise him. So beloved, what about you and I? Do we praise him? Do we honor him? Do we sing to him? We have to praise our maker. He is a miracle working God. We continue. That is Psalm 22 and the verses 25. Let us hear the word of God. My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pay my vow before those who fear him. Yes, we have to praise him. We have to fear him. And the more we praise him, beloved, it is your duty, it is my duty to praise our king. He is a miracle working God. So this morning, I have a question. How do you praise your God? Do you sing to him? Do you cherish him? 
Do you adore him? It is time for you and I. Anywhere we are, we have to sing and praise him because he deserves our praises. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. We continue. Beloved, he is the king of glory. We have to praise him all the time. Our next scripture is Psalm 33. Let us hear the word of God. Psalm 33 verse 1 says, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for the praise for the upright is beautiful. Two, praise the Lord with a sharp. Make a melody to him with an instrument of a strength. Sing to him a new song. Pray a skillful with a shout of joy. Beloved, David knew about this. But beloved, today, David is no more around. It is you and I. So how do we praise him? We have to magnify him. We have to praise him. It's a daily basis. When you wake up, we have to sing and glorify our God. Hallelujah. I will sing a song and praise him because he deserves our praises. Hallelujah. He is able, he is able to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya. He is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya. He is able. Oh, to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Hallelujah. He is able, he is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya. He is able to deliver. Me, me, Zaya. He is able oh, 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 to deliver. Oh, that's so yeah. Oh, nyami eh, unsa trada. Oh, that's so yeah. Oh, nyami eh, unsa trada. Titi brenu mwa uyo nyamio enenswa uye radio wo da so ye o nyamie wo sa trada Titi brenu mwa uyo nyamio enenswa what a mighty God. We have to watch, we have to praise him. We have to worship him. Beloved, it is your duty. It is my duty to praise our maker. He has done so much for us. He is a covenanted God. He is a good God. So beloved, we owe him a praise. Hallelujah. We continue. That is Psalm 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. So, beloved, anywhere you are, in your car, in your house, in your bedroom, anywhere, you have to offer a praise 
to the king of glory, the mighty Jehovah, the one who knows you and I. He is a covenanted God. So David is no more around. It is you and I. And the more we praise him, the more we get closer and closer. We serve a mighty God. So this afternoon, the message has come. You have to start praising God. He is our king of glory. He needs our praises. So this afternoon, we shouldn't delay. What a king, what a God, what a mercy for the owner of life. So this afternoon, we give him all his glory. We will praise him wherever we are because he needs our praises. Shadrach, Mesad, and Abednego, even in the fire, they were praising God. So what about you and I? We have to. We give him all his glory for giving us his word. So beloved, we must do it. We glorify you, King of glory. We honor you that this afternoon we will praise you. Not this afternoon alone. Every day, when the Spirit of God wakes us up, we will praise you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our God, our Master, our Lord, for giving us a mercy. Thank you, covenanted God. Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet, the one that you have ordained to draw souls for you and also his viewers who listen to him. May you do their hard desire and give them what they want. Jesus, you alone, Christ can do it for them. So this afternoon, we thank you for the message that Jesus Christ, your message has come. May your will shall be done. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen.